So, Alone is one of the most recognizable and honestly one of the most beautiful songs from the Tokyo Ghoul anime's first season. You could interpret its main themes and focus to any character's arc and relationship, but for the sake of this particular analysis, I'm gonna interpret the muse of its lyrics as Kaneki's inner self. Like I've said, you can interpret it in many other ways, such as Toka being its main focus, for example, or being about Ken's relation with his own mother, in spirit with the end of season 1. But I thought it would be more fun to change it a little bit, and see alone through a different set of lens. So, here we go then. This is Ken thinking to himself, thinking about the fact that he could have continued his life at Antiku with his friends, his found new family. The person he keeps bringing up is no one but his own human self, the sad one that still found a place he could call home and not suffer anymore. He comforts himself, like he was singing a lullaby, so he can fall asleep and forget the sadness and weakness from his heart. He expresses these feelings whenever the stars and the song he mentions announce a comforting feeling that will calm him down. And he questions. If that side of him will ever take hold again. If he will ever return to that former life. Once again another sensation is brought up, the one that he feels when the raindrops fall down on his skin. I believe this serves as a metaphor for his own life. His life has only been grey so far, melancholic, a feeling associated for the most part to rainy days. Although despite that, that cold rain that constantly pours down on him, it's starting to become familiar. As it reaches his breaking point, that inner suffering starts to become gentle, comforting. The metaphor also manifests when Kaneki talks with Rize. With her comes more pain and suffering, but in the end she holds him tenderly, telling him she will make things better for him if he accepts her. This is the new Ken, white haired Kaneki asking himself if he can move on without his past beliefs, without any semblance of who he used to be. Or perhaps the original Ken who questions before his transformation if he can't live as human without sacrificing that humanity of his to his ghoul impulses, to the Rize that lives inside of him. Another day, another chapter in his life where he's hurt by merely breathing. He's just another lost soul broken, amidst numerous others that wander the same world as he does. Time will eventually have him move on from those memories. Notice the phrasing this time around from the chorus. No longer does Kaneki ask if he should merge both lives and personalities as before. He wonders if they actually should, if they should try and live as both a human and a ghoul, as oneself, merge both weakness and strength, despite being right now so far apart between. Will you think of me, search for me? No longer this moment is taking place in the present. The reigning personality, the stronger of the two, is actually moving on from him, and all he can do is ask of him if he won't be forgotten, if he can still live on. Alone is a song from this series that can be placed at any point in time in its story and translate perfectly a lot of its themes and symbolism, no matter the character and situation they're in. One of those examples is the replacement of the person Kaneki has this conversation with. 
It could be Reese herself or his own mother, since I think this song translates perfectly the conflict from the last episode of season one, while Jason's torturing is taking place, and Kaneki's mind is starting to split apart. Oh, and also those musical cues that tie to Lich and Skadden. Superb. Absolute magnifique. I hope you've enjoyed this song analysis from Tokyo Ghouls Alone. And as always, stay safe and well. Ja. Mata.